This video is gonna have three parts. First, I'm gonna go over a problem that I think is of imperative and imminent importance to the West. Second, I'm gonna go over why I think that problem emerged. And third, I'm gonna propose my solution to that problem. The problem. Universities have become unbelievably, irrevocably, completely and holistically broken. The facade of the drywall has been pulled back and behind it, we have found rot and cockroaches going everywhere. It is leading to a ton of unhappiness and the excellence that it once produced is no longer being produced. Mediocrity is emphasized, empty forms of certifications abound. One of the many reasons why I believe this has occurred is due to the monopolistic nature of the universities. If you want a high level education in the West, the universities as of right now are the only place you can get it. As we know with monopolies, as they continue and there's no competition, the quality of the service that they offer deteriorates. That leads to a decrease in the service. Because customers are guaranteed, they don't have to compete for customers anymore. They can just lapse on the service and provide a good marketing scheme, which is what we see. We see student life emphasized, but quality of education is nowhere to be found. It felt like straight of the twilight zone. I was talking to a bunch of students in the calculus class that I was in, and I realized not a single one of them, and not their fault, understood what an integral was. They could calculate what an integral was, but they had no idea what they were actually doing. This shocked me because the whole point of the course was to learn what integrals were, and yet not a single one conceptually understood what and why we were actually doing what we were doing. So question is, what do you do when you want a high level knowledge, you want to be excellent, you want to be able to use the knowledge you learn in a high level way to operate effectively in the world? What do you do when you want this, but university can no longer provide this? What are the answers? We must be careful not to just be petulant children, tearing down whatever system we come across. There is value hidden in these systems that we cannot see, and if we've learned from history, tearing down systems arbitrarily is foolish because we don't know what is hidden within them that we are dismissing. It's not that these systems are all bad. I've met many, many, many people within the university structure that are absolutely nothing but the most helpful, delightful, excellent people you will ever meet. These professors would like to help you learn. It is just that they are held back by the bureaucratic nonsense, the administrative bloat, the BS curriculum, the way that stuff's rushed, not on their end, but on the university end, all the paperwork they must do. And so they're prevented from actual teaching of their students like we should be. So what do we do? This leads me into part three. University. I'm calling your bluff. The monopoly is coming to an end, and there's another way to get this high level of knowledge. That way is self-education, baby. It would be wrong of me just to talk the talk without walking the walk, and so I have left school in order to pursue this full time. On this channel, however long it takes, I'm going to be documenting my journey to a graduate level understanding in mathematics, physics, engineering, chemistry, computer science, maybe even some social sciences. I tossed them in there, I don't know. We're going hard the pin, and I'm gonna prove live that it is possible to get a high level in these topics without university. Now we'll be talking to experts and trying to find mentors, and many of them will be within the university system, but the rule of the game is that I cannot take any structured university courses while I'm doing this so that I have the experience of self-educating so that I can go back and then make better courses for you guys if you're following this, so that you can then learn better and hopefully I can clear some of the underbrush. Now the path forward is uncertain, but the direction is absolutely clear. And among all this uncertainty, in the distance, there is one shining, brilliant, obvious and clear certainty rising like the dawn of day and that certainty ladies and gentlemen is that we are all going to make it <laughs>